Inside the AHSAA, your weekly look inside Alabama prep athletics. Brought to you by TeamIP.com, AL.com, Encore Rehabilitation, Alpha Insurance, Wilson, South Point Bank, Russell Athletic, and Coca-Cola. Welcome to Inside the AHSAA. I'm your host, Luke Robinson. This week, we'll be taking you through everything going on in the world of Alabama high school athletics. The Elite Eight State Volleyball Tournament kicked off the state championships for the 2011-2012 season Wednesday with all six defending champions in the mix. Will Bayside Academy win its 10th consecutive championship? Will Huntsville, St. Paul's, Gunnersville, College Hill Christian, or Addison repeat as champions? Fans can tune in for the finals, which will be broadcast live from the Pelham Civic Complex via the internet by Raycom Network's Broadview Media. The webcast can be found at www.ahsaa.com. All championship matches will also be archived for future viewing. The schedule for the finals will be Class 2A at 9 a.m., 6A at 10.30, 5A at noon, Class 1A at 1.30, Class 3A at 3 p.m., and finally Class 4A at 4.30 p.m. Tickets are available at the ticket window at the complex. We'll be back with more Inside the AHSAA in just a moment. Hansville High School senior tailback Diamond Simmons has had some big games this season, but none were bigger than Friday night showdown in Class 3A Region 5 in a battle of unbeats between Hansville and Hamilton. Simmons spearheaded a 42-24 win over the host Aggies with 369 yards rushing on only 23 carries, and he grabbed the AHSAA's Week 9 prep spotlight in the process. He scored four touchdowns on runs of 60, 28, 90, and 70 yards as the Bulldogs, who are now 9-0, clinched the Region 5 title with a 7-0 region record. He also made two interceptions on defense. Hamilton, who is now 8-1, finished second at 6-1 in the region after going 14-1 last season to win the region and reach the Class 3A Finals. Simmons' performance edged out a record-setting effort by Trinity Presbyterian senior place kicker Andy Papanastos, who booted four field goals in Trinity Presbyterian's 40-21 win over Montgomery Academy Friday night to become the AHSAA's career field goal leader. Papanastos had field goals of 24, 37, 41, and 44 yards to give him 14 this season and 46 overall. Papanastos came into the contest one behind former state leader Philip Doyle of Birmingham's Huffman High School. Doyle's 43 field goals were a national record at the time, but has since been surpassed by four others, including current NFHS national record holder Jimmy Stevens of Oklahoma City Heritage Hall. Stevens has 50, and Papanastos is now just four away from tying that mark, with at least two games remaining in the Wildcats season. His four field goals in one game is a career high and one shy of the state single game record set by Ricky Beck of Geneva in 1970 and tied by Tim Rogers of Mountain Brook in 1990 and Josh Woodard of Decatur in 2001. Trinity travels to Elmore County Friday night for the final game of the regular season and is at Gordo November 5th in the first round of the Class 3A state football playoffs. Lee Apparel is proud to announce that we are expanding to a full service marketing company. Lee Marketing Group offers four great brands. Lee Apparel for t-shirts, polos, and promotional products. Southern Sports for athletic uniforms and equipment. Sign Source is a full-service sign provider. And r and Media for website design and TV and radio production. Now with two great locations, Highway 280 in Davel and Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Lee Marketing Group, bringing your name to the world. While region play ended last week in the AHSAA, that doesn't mean this week's final week of the regular season is unimportant. For at least six regions, that must settle playoff berths that are deadlocked by teams tied for certain spots. 
Every single winner across the state this week could change the outcome of the playoff qualifiers still embroiled in tiebreakers. In Class 1A Region 5, Lynn, Marion County, and Barry all finished 6-1 in region play and are 8-1 overall. Barry beat Marion County 68-50, Marion County beat Lynn 63-28, and Lynn down Barry 47-40 to force the three-way tie for first, second, and third place in Region 5. Hubbardville has clinched the four spot. Tiebreaker L will decide the outcome of this logjam. That means it will come down to who can win this week. The tiebreaker goes to the team who's defeated non-region opponents in class or above class who have the most overall wins. In this case, it means Lynn needs a win over non-region foe Addison, who's 8-1 this week. Marion County needs a win over non-region foe Red Bay, who's 9-0. And Barry needs a win over Galesville, who's only 3-6. Once the tie for first is solved, the two remaining teams will then be determined by who won their head-to-head -head game during the regular season. Ties of some sort must still be resolved in Class 3A Region 6, Class 5A Region 4, Class 5A Region 6, Class 6A Region 1, and Class 6A Region 6. Other spots in the playoffs that begin November 4th have already been settled. One final note, the AHSA mourns the loss of one of its most respected contest officials. John Christie of Dothan, better known to his friends, fellow officials, and church members as Brother John, died after a brief illness last weekend at the age of 85. Brother John was a leader in training young officials in football, basketball, baseball, and softball the last 40 years. He was one friend who is leaving a legacy of kindness, compassion, and tremendous faith for all of us to emulate. Our prayers go out this week to his wife, Francis, and his family. That's going to do it for Inside the AHSA. Thanks so much for being with us this week. Hope to see you next week on Inside the AHSA.